Hey guys, it's Melissa here with Web of Creativity and your Graphic 45 brand ambassador. This video is about a technique and then we're going to use that technique to make some cards and tags. So we're going to start off with uh, this die set. This is a Graphic 45 policy and decorative die set. And in this set has three corner dies. So these are the dies that we are going to be using um, to make things with. So we're going to start off by showing you um, what they look like cut out for just the corners. Now, uh, I like to think outside the box, so I made these corners into medallions. And it just takes four corners to make these really cool medallions. Uh, this one's very decorative. I really like this one. Um, I like all of them. Uh, and then I put the corners together to make the medallion. So these are in diamond shape, but you can definitely use them as a square shape um, as well. Now this is what the corner's touching. Um, and let me demonstrate real quick on how to, to do that. So I have these four pieces right here. I went the wrong way. And then I just take a piece of tape, double-sided tape. Then we're gonna flip them over line them up and then just attach the tape so it's real easy just to make these into a cute little embellishment for your project so you can make it a diamond or a square shape it's just a really cute embellishment um, and then when you're ready to attach it to your project, you just take the tape off the back and then glue the rest um, for that. So that's how you make them into these. Now you can turn them around and make kind of like little medallions frames. Um, this one's a little off, but that's okay. <laughs> it makes a, a little triangle instead of a square. But you can see... Um, the square shape and then the design right in that middle um, which is really cool this one's really cool too it has that X in the middle uh, so that's how you do them with the frames um, flipping the corners around and then lastly uh, you can put them together to make decorative strips so you can see um, it's kind of like zigzag so they look really cool so we're going to use these pieces to make um, as embellishments for our um, cards and tags for today. So let's go ahead and let me clear my desk off and we'll start with the first project. So today I'm going to use the um, Ephemera Queen paper collection and sticker set that goes with the collection for these cards and tags. Um, there's also some really cute cutout pieces in the collection as well. So um, that's what we're going to use. And we're going to make easel cards. So these are, um, we got, we're going to make the base first. So the base, the card base is six and a half by six and a half, and then six and a half by seven. And then we're going to go ahead and score this piece on the seven inch side and score it at a half an inch and three and three fourths fold on the score line I know that might be a little hard to see because it's cream colored and my desk is kind of cream colored let me put that there. We're going to taper the corners by cutting them at an angle, adding our tape to the newly created tab. And then let me fold this down. Oops. So we're going to take that tab, we're going to remove the tape, we're going to attach it to our six and a half by six and a half piece. And this is the start of our card. 
So we have, um, so it'll stick up like that for the easel shape. And we'll need a base cut. Um, so our base is six and a half by six and a half, and it'll get attached to the front of the card, but only on the second half. So when this sits up, this sits straight up and we'll um, show your card and we'll have a piece to hold it up to make it an easel card. So this is the base that we're going to attach all of our pieces to. All right, so we're going to go over the measurements. So for the um, base area, uh, mat for the base mat is six and one fourth by six and one fourth. Then we have a strip that's six and one fourth by one and five eighths that's going to go down. And then we have the border using the scallop corner. There are 11 pieces on here. We're going to attach it to the strip and then we're going to trim off the excess. And then our focal point piece is this guy right here. And this is a cut apart piece from the collection and that's two and five eighths by four. Then the mat is two and seven eighths by four and one fourth. And then the second mat is three and one eighths by four and a half. And that'll get attached right there. Then we have some more pieces um, for the easel section um, on the bottom. So when this is attached to here, we need to have it stand up. So the bottom section here are all these little pieces. So um, I did make a couple of med medallions using the scallop one. Um, so with these pieces, um, the back piece is six and one fourth by three inches. Um, I used my scraps, so there's two pieces, so it's not a full piece, and if uh, you use scraps, it's six and one-fourth by three-fourths, and you'll need two of them, or you can do one solid piece at um, six and one-fourth by two and one-fourth, and then the yellow strip is six and one-fourth by one and one-fourth, and then make two medallions, and that'll be on the easel portion of the card. On the, so that's the inside of the card. Um, and then this will be pop dotted to get this to, to stay up. All right, so um, let's go ahead and attach everything.
card two, we're going to use the uh, very detailed corner die. Um, here's the diamond, but we're going to use it as a square. We're going to have three of them on our card. So our card base is, um, the base mat is six and one fourth by six and one fourth. And then again, I like to use um, leftover pieces, scraps for my borders. Um, those scraps are a half an inch by six and one fourth. But if you want a full piece, it's two and five eighths by six and one fourth. Then um, the pink strip is two and one eighth by six and one fourth, and it fits three medallions nicely. And then the bottom section um, is six and one fourth by three inches. And then we have my two strips, and the strips are five eighths by six and one fourth. Uh, if you want a full piece, it's two and a half by six and one fourth. And then the pink strip is one and three-fourths by six and one-fourth. And then we're going to stick stickers on them. So let me put this aside. Let's go ahead and get these attached. So our third card is a little bit more involved and we are going to, um, let me move this aside and go through some of these pieces. The first is this cute little fan and this piece right here is the corner, scallop corner piece. So I'll show you how I made this little fan. Um, 
I'm going to move the bottom section off here so you can see this bottom mat um, our card mat is the six and one fourth by six and one fourth. Then we have our second dairy mat. That cream card stock is five and one eighths by four inches. The mat is four and seven eighths by three and three fourths. Now the um, cut apart piece, the ephemera queen piece, um, and their mat, the 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 base card is um, four and one eighths by two and three fourths. And the mat is three and seven eighths by two and five eighths. Then we have these cute cards. These are cut apart um, pieces from the paper collection. And then I have um, a backing that I want to put on there. So the backing piece is one and seven eighths by two and a half. And the cards themselves is one and three fourths by two and three eighths. Then we have. Um, this bottom section here that um, I put on there. So this big piece is six and one fourth by two and one fourth, and this little strip is only a fourth inch. Then we have the three scallop medallions, and then the part that goes inside the card is our six and one fourth by three inches, and then the second mat is six by two and one fourth, and this little strip which is a cut apart piece is a fourth of an inch. And then another medallion and then a sticker will go in the middle. So let's go ahead and start um, attaching all these pieces. Um, I have a strip of paper and this is um, one and three fourths by uh, six inches. And then I have this um, EK success punch that's a scalloped, small scalloped edges. Um, so then I'm going to 
line up Board, and I'm going to score in between each scallop. Now they don't line up perfectly on the scoreboard, so I'm just going to move them in the spots that they go in. Um, simple enough and then we're just going to accordion fold It's a little, I got a little too much on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off with my scissors. And so what I did is I just, um, so I have a little um, clothes pen. So we'll just, all you do is just glue as close as you can. To the edge on each one. That's a little too much glue. And then I cover the bottom with the glue and then close pen it. I had a second clothes pen so this one wouldn't pop off but it looks fine then you just wait um, until it's dry and then shape so you'll when it's dry you'll shape it out and then you just hold it open enough for um, whichever piece that you want to use for your uh, little fan section or you can leave it just the way it is and you don't need a um, a piece right there but I, I just happen to like the piece I think it made it look really cute all right let's move back on to the card
right, now that our three cards are done, we're going to move over to some simple tags using the medallions. All right, so the tags that we're going to make are Graphic 45's square tags. This is uh, five inches by four and a half. And Graphic 45 has um, tag dies for all of their tags. So it's easy to cut out a mat for them. So that's what I did here is just to cut out the mat using the die um, of Graphic 45. So this is their square tag. Um, I love this paper. This is the card paper from the Ephemera Queen. Uh, so we're also going to use corners for the, these pieces. So these corners, I'm going to actually leave them as a square corner, but I will trim the other ones um, and, and the other tags, and I'll show you that. But I'm going to just make these the actual corner pieces, and it's going to be a little pokey on the end, and I'm okay with that. I think it looks cute. And then I'm just going to take one medallion and put it on um, two, a two by two square and turn it for the diamond. And then I took a one by one square, uh, cut it in half, and then I'm just going to put them on the sides. And that is um, just a simple tag that's decorated and is super cute. So let me go ahead and attach all these pieces. So for this tag, um, we're going to use the corners, we're going to use the scallop corner, but I'm going to go ahead and um, corner punch the corner. So I'm using um, a fourth of an inch, this is the We Are Memory Keepers corner punch. I'm going to slide that straight down the middle and trim the corner off. And then I'm going to attach it like that. So I think those are really cute. Um, I also have this strip. This is four and one fourth by um, one and a half. That's going to go in the middle. Then here's my medallion is the scallop medallion. And then the square is two and one eighths. And that's going to go in the center. So let me go ahead and finish cropping those two corners off and then get everything attached. Last but not least, um, let me move all those by. We're going to do um, the square medallion. Make it into a diamond and then have um, this little frame here. Then I have this cute little strip that's going to go straight down the center. And we're going to do the same thing with these corners and just corner... Um, corner punch them, round them up, put 
put them in the corners. So, um, the pink strip is 5 eighths by 4 and 1 fourth, and this one would be 4 and 1 fourth by 3 eighths. This strip is from the paper collection. Um, so I'm going to attach that. And then this guy, um, let's see, the pink square is 2 inches, and the blue square is 2 and 1 fourth inches. Go ahead and get these attached. three tags with our medallions um, and that's it for the video um, three cards and three tags to show off these um, what you can do with these corner pieces and turn them into medallions and embellishments um, so for more projects and more ideas please go check out my blog www.webofcreativity.net thank you for watching